everybody, so today I will be doing a nail tutorial. Oops. Um, this is what it's going to look like when you're finished, and it's kind of hard to see it, but it's just so pretty. It does have like that little texture to it, but it's, it's actually very smooth. It's not really textured at all. It just looks textured, and I think I'm going to call this like um, glass nail tutorial because it looks like glass because it's so reflective. Or like a marble and it's so pretty but the secret is and I'm totally obsessed with foils now as you guys can probably tell if you've seen my other videos but it's um, an opal nail swirl um, the foil itself is called opal swirl and it's like a thicker foil but um, yeah textures just vary so what I did is I went ahead and applied one coat to a practice nail um, with this Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail color, and this one is in French White Cream. Okay, and then I figured it wouldn't be that convenient if you guys had to wait and watch the um, glue dry, so I went ahead and I applied one coat of this glue that I got from Dollar Nail Art. Um, I've mentioned this in a couple other videos, but you don't want to use actual nail glue um you want to use this stuff and it's kind of like body glue anyways so the key is with this that you don't let it completely dry you want it to dry um like half dry or almost dry so that's what it looks like and normally if you were applying nail foils you wouldn't want to touch it but um we're going to touch it because it doesn't really matter because it's more going to be like patchwork. So it's still wet and don't be afraid when you see um, your foil pull up and it's all gooey and sticky underneath there because that's what we're aiming for. So go ahead and take your foil and get these out of the way. Just take your foil, lay it gently over your nail and I can already feel it moving around. That's okay. You want it to stick. So, a little bit of it stuck actually, but some of it didn't. So you can just go back and pull and press and just do this method. And you, I use such a big piece, but you don't actually need it this big. Um, it would actually better be better if you had a smaller piece, because that gives you a little bit more control. So you just want to press it in every little place. But Patrick gives you, like, textured and a cool, like, effect, even though foils are already cool. So that's what it looks like, and it kind of looks like you had like opal um, crackle nail polish, but it's actually a lot cooler than crackle nail polish. So I just love the effects that foils can create. So now that you're done, you can either go on top of it with like a top coat that matches your nail color, it doesn't really matter, or you can, like any cheap non-fast drying top coat so this one I got from the dollar store and it's just LA colors or this one which I got from Walgreens and it's just wet and wild um, they were the same price anyhow but um, I'm gonna go with the hardener because I find that this works better because it's kind of like meant for a base coat and it's a lot thinner than um, an actual top coat it also gives it a slightly blue hint when you put it on top of white so that's going to help out with the whole opalescent theme that we're going for. So make sure to get everywhere. And this, it's so pretty. That is your final result. So I hope all of you enjoyed the video. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.